Dennis, we're standing here in front of the Aeropract LSA, and this is one that we're not very familiar with. So tell us a little bit about this airplane and, and what makes it kind of unique in the LSA space. Well, the airplane's been around for 18 years, so it's an almost 20-year-old design. Been through several small revisions. Up and over. It's been around for that long time. It was, it's been in the United States for that whole amount of time. Just not a lot of them sold over those years, but you cannot find an owner willing to sell them. They love them. What makes them special is the handling anywhere between the 100 mile an hour to 30 miles an hour. They're just spectacular in the way they handle thermals and bumps and crosswinds. They're just the best handling light sport on this field. And people just come to me and I'll let them fly it and then they can take their own opinion from there. But, and they're all metal, no composite, other than the cowling, of course, the fiberglass cover. But, and that's a feature that a lot of people like is the aluminum construction. What are you pricing them and what are some of the options that come with the airplane? Well, typical, if anybody wants to say, hey, how low can I get it? We can start around 79, but to get the nicer options with the 30 gallon fuel tanks, the larger wheels, the larger horsepower, cabin heat, carb heat, the average price of most guys are going out the door at 82 to 83,000. A feature that I have that no other light sport has that I know of is I can sell them with a stick or a yoke. Mm -hmm. So they can go either direction. I can fit really big bodied wide, guys or if somebody's really tall the stick model with the tall man option in the dash lets really long inseam people fit comfortably it's a stole plane takes off and land in 100 to 300 feet looking at the airplane there's a lot of plexiglass there's going to be a lot of visibility on this airplane and that's what my, a lot of my customers like and that's why they buy it people fly today fly for fun and that's the biggest comment i get and they go a lot of the visibility is awesome you can look straight down without tilting the airplane over from either side. Guys who fly this eight out, Cub's a Cub. Slower than a Cub, faster than a Cub, side by side, which everybody wished a Cub might be. That and tricycle makes, gear. Makes it special, and tricycle gear. Now, it is very light on the nose wheel, mm -hmm. so it makes it a stole plane. Uh, nose wheel comes up immediately, so taking off in, in gravel or soft sand, it does a very fine job of that because the nose is up right away, and then you're balancing like a tail dragger. But on landing in challenging conditions, get the nose down, angle of attack comes off the wing, you got positive nose wheel steering. Now if you want to buy one as a float plane, we do have differential braking available for the floats that use the castering nose wheel, so you do have differential brakes. The other thing that really, we talked a little bit about the visibility, but this would be an outstanding camera ship for somebody who wanted to go out and take a lot of aerial photographs and things of that nature. Absolutely, you can fly with the doors off. Uh, up to about 100 miles an hour if you want. There's also photo window doors that have a big opening that slide open to make the visibility with no Lexan. And the strut is behind the door, so it's a full panoramic shot, easy to shoot pictures from. What are the avionics options? You can start have steam gauges, analog round gauges, clear up to glass panel. Typically have been targeting the MGL because of the price point, and it's a good quality unit. But if somebody just ha has to have dyno, we can full, do a full dyno on suite also. Well, thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.